the use your RC function. So let's realize how do you state or how do you define or how do you come to know your function is your RC function. In earlier case, you have to recognize the function is your LC. So what you did, you had to find all the values for S from the numerator, S from the denominator. You had to plot the, all the poles you plot and you said if your poles and zeros are on the zero mega axis and are interlaced with each other, that function or that type is known as the LC function. Similar to it for RC function. For this kind of sums, always if it is not mentioned which kind of function it is, LC, RC, or RL, the first thing what you need to do is find the zeros, find the poles, and plot it. Zeros by a circle, poles by a cross. You got two zeros, that means minus one and minus one. Two poles, cross it. So, all the poles and zeros are not on geomega axis, it's on the left hand side of S plane. So, that function is known as the RC function. And second logic is that your this part should start with a pole. If it is starting with a pole, that is known as RC function. If it is starting with a zero, that function is known as RL function, which we will be doing in slide the next slide. So, we start with pole, what is this? Nothing but your RC function. So, let's start with the first of all. Again, the concept remains the same, my different. I will be going very, very fast, very fast. So, let's say you guys have studied the previous type or not. First of function means your partial. So you need to apply partial. Partial means the degree of denominator should be greater than the degree of numerator. So let's check. The degree of denominator is 2, numerator is 2. Same. Not applicable. The degree of denominator should be greater. That means you have to divide it, then divide. Till when you have to divide? Till the numerator power is less than the power of denominator. So power of remainder is 1. That is less. So stop it. Three things we got. This is the remainder, this is your portion, this is your divider. So let's write in the form of portion plus the remainder for divider. Portion, remainder, divider. So let's apply the partial only to this one because partial can only be applicable to a function which has a numerator, which has a denominator. So apply. Take it as common. A1, B. Find the value of A1. So, your body power is 1, so there will be no multiplication of Put the value of k1, k2 over here, you got 0. r will be r, there will be no s function in r, that is the way you should recognize r. c will be 1 upon cs, and the combination for this will be 1 upon c, s plus 1 upon r. For combination, you got two values r. First, you have to compare with the numerator 1 upon c, which is that part, and then after getting r and c, again the logic will be the same. For positive one, guys, for all the three realized for lc, rc, and rl, it's even the concept remains the same. When I say positive one, we have sub equations. So you got sub equations over here, you got three sub equations over here 1, 2, and 3. All the three sub equations will be connected in series, but the combination will be because of this first of one. All the three sub equations will be connected in series, but the combination will be in parallel. So there will be three things which will be connected in series. But since this is a combination, so it will be connected in parallel because from here you are getting two values R, R and C. So R in series with C, in series with combination of R and C. R and C will be parallel, so your network will be in this form. R, C, series with combination of R and C. With the value, just don't forget to put the unit is at the most number. That's your realized network for first of all, which are similar to previous case. So, please, before starting with this, you need to revise your type seven very, very thoroughly. Without that, it, it will become like a type. So, revise type seven, then generally go for type eight and type nine. Thank you so much, guys. I am